when people are trying to change their lifestyle, which is very, very important for me because I see it every day that people have right. fear, fears. They have fears oh, yeah. that, that they don't have the confidence that they could do it. And they feel they're going to be a failure. What do you suggest for people who are walking around with these fears that oftentimes are even hidden? They don't even know they have them. I am a breast cancer survivor, stage three breast cancer survivor. And I got breast cancer in um, 12 years ago. And when you get breast cancer, at least they did back then, they send you to chemo class. And we're on the, we're talking about the other side of medicine. And that's how I kind of healed myself. But I did do the Western. I did the chemo. They sent me to chemo class and they, they tell you all the nasty things that are going to happen, the side effects and the pills, nothing good. Not what you should be eating, not what you should be thinking, not what you should be exercising, just the bad stuff. And my brain snapped. So Nurse Ratchet is at the front of the room spewing all this negativity. So I walked up to her and I said, I'm not getting any of that. She looked at me and she drawled, I live in the South. Honey, you're going to get all of these things. And I looked at her and I said, no, I'm not. Fast no, but, you, forward, but, you don't, but you don't want to get all the things that they were talking about, the side nope. effects. <laughs> nope. So I went through chemo, went through radiation, did all those horrible stuff, you know, operations, but through it, I kept my positivity. I kept my gratitude. I kept my eye on the prize. She comes up to me a year later. She said, Mrs. Giovanni, Mrs. Giovanni. I'm in the hall and I'm thinking, yes, I had no idea what she's going to say. She said, what are you doing? I looked at her and I said, what do you mean? What am I doing? She said, you're not as sick as everybody else. You had stage three. We hit you with some bad stuff. Why aren't you sicker? And I looked at her and I said, you remember a year ago when I told you I wasn't going to get as sick? Ah, that's what I did. I'm also eating clean and a few other things, but that's what I did. Your mind is the most powerful instrument you have. So when you get cancer, the big C word, you're going to be scared. And of course you are. Everybody is. They all think they're going to die. Cancer doesn't kill as many people as, as it used to, but your body and your mindset is critically important because whatever you think it you're probably right so i thought you know i have a choice i can take the local train to health which is filled with medicine and illness and all these other horrible things or i can take the express so i took the express and i did what the doctors told me but i also ate clean clean i remained positive which is kind of like a sh taking a shower. I recommend you do it every day. And when you're in pain with cancer, it's a minute by minute choice. It's a minute by minute choice to stay grateful. It's a minute by minute choice to forgive all of these horrible things. But why am I still alive today? That's why. Mm, and if you're facing a horrible, horrible disease, take it minute by minute and be grateful that you're still here and be grateful that you have access to all of these other things. But there's more to health than just modern day medicine. Yeah. Sometimes it's all in your mind.